Hey Transformers, Coach Dan here. I just want to show you guys a piece of equipment that we're going to be using almost every single workout that you hear at Varsity House Gym, and it's the rower. Okay, I have some veterans that have been here for three years that still, uh, that still really don't know how to use the computer, so I figured I'm going to fix that, and I'm going to, I'm going to uh, create a solution for you guys by just showing you in a video exactly how to set up your own computer here. It's pretty basic. Once you learn once, you should be fine. And I expect my veterans that know how to set these computers up to lend a hand in class. If there's a rookie that needs some help, just help each other out. You guys are all here to help each other. You're here to get better, and we're here to have fun in, uh, in our quest for health and wellness. Okay guys, when you come up to the screen just like this, it's going to be a blank screen. All you have to do is press menu back button and it's going to bring you to this screen here. So if you see the coach tells you, okay guys, we're going to do a thousand meter row to start or a thousand meter ski, it's important to note that these computers are exactly the same on the rower and the ski ergs here. So if it was a thousand meter row that I had to do, all I'm going to come to is select workout. I'm going to press it one time. I'm going to go to a new workout. I'm going to select that button and I'm just going to click single distance. Once I get to single distance, press that button, it reads out 2000 meters. Then at the top you have a plus and minus button and this moves the cursor over the top button and this button here moves the cursor to the left. So here, if I wanted to get it to 1,000 meters, I'm going to press the minus button one time. Once, I'm, once I've got to the selected distance, I'm going to go down. There's a check button. It's going to check me off, and I'm ready to go. The meters are going to be counting down. Okay, we'll get set up. The middle number is time. This is our split time as to how fast we're going. The bottom number is going to show me my projected finish. Okay, so if the coach says, hey guys, we're doing 1,000 meters in four minutes, this bottom number is going to show me how fast my boat's moving and what my projected finish is going to be for that allotted uh, distance. Okay, guys, next, if, if our coach comes in and says, hey guys, we're going to do a 10-minute row for distance, again, we're going to come to select workout, we're going to press that button, we're going to come to new workout, select that button, and we're going to come up to single time. I'm going to press single time, and when we come here, it gives me 30 minutes, and again, it gives me my plus and minus button, it gives me my option to move right with the cursor or left, so here, if I wanted to go to 10 minutes, I'm just pressing the minus to 10 minutes, and it's reading out 10 minutes. I come down, I'm going to press check it off, and at the top, it gives me my time. It's going to be counting down to zero, and now instead of time being in the middle, it's giving me total meters, and then here, instead of projected time, it's giving me projected meters. Okay, that's a 10-minute row. Obviously, there it could be a two-minute row, one-minute row, whatever the coach specifies, or if you come in early before class, however long you feel like rowing before class is going to start. Okay, guys, if you come in before class and you have some time to kill and you just want to screw around with the rower and just get a couple extra meters in, just see, you know, practice some different techniques, different strokes on the row to see what works best for you. You just come to just row. It's just going to give you an open slate here, and you just monitor how fast you're going, how many meters you're covering, what the time is like, and this is just an open blank slate for you. So if you're ever just coming in and want to kill some time on a rower or finish off with a light recovery row at the end of a session, just come to the Just Row screen. Okay, guys, last but not least, we're going to do interval training. So when I want to do interval training, I'm going to come to Select Workout. I'm going to press that button. I'm going to go to New Workout. Then I'm going to come here. It says Intervals Distance and or Intervals Time. So let's go to Intervals Distance first. We press Intervals Distance, and on the top number, it gives me the, amount, the allotted distance that I'm looking to, to do at any given time. So say I want to do a 500-meter pull. Okay, I'm good with 500 meters. Now I'm going to go over on the cursor to a rest time. So say I'm trying to do three intervals of 500 meters for a 1500 meter total and I want to rest 45 seconds in between. I've moved my cursor over to time. I want to give myself a one minute break in between each round. Now I'm going to press that up to one. It's giving me one minute. I'm checking it off and it's going to bring me to this screen here. So it gives me my total meters 500. It's going to give me my time. And it's also this number here is giving me my, my intervals. So I'm on interval number one. Once I finish this exercise, it's the, the break time is going to start on the top, counting down from 60 seconds. As soon as the break time is finished, it's going to reset the computer to a fresh 500 and it's going to allow me to work on interval number two. All right, once I'm done with that 500, it's going to give me another minute break, and it's going to reset my computer to interval number three. That's how we attack the interval training. And then vice versa, if we want to go to intervals time, again, we just press menu, 
We go select workout, new workout, intervals time. And the only difference here, instead of working for meters, we're working off time. So if, say I want to do interval sprints at one minute, it's set for one minute, and I want to give myself a little bit of a shorter break this time, so I'm gonna move the cursor over to 30 second breaks, check it off. Now I'm working on intervals for time, one minute sprints with a 30 second break. It gives me my interval times here, and you could do as many as the coach has asked. All right, Transformers, I hope this cleared up any confusion that we might have had, even for our veterans. For our rookies, if you just come in, you know how to set up a rower, you're already going to be one step ahead of the rest. All right, just make sure you come in. If you have any questions, you can obviously still ask, but make sure you watch the video all the way through, as I think it'll clear up any confusion you might have about the Concept2 computers that are found on the rowers and the ski ergs. Thanks, guys. See you soon.